So, um, so I have this GoPro in my head right now, so I can make it easier. But you can see here, I had it for a few minutes. So it's it's cool that they're doing that. Because I guess it need to get ticked off. And there you go. First flight. Look at that. So steady. And I'm not even using... And look at the transmitter. I'm not even touching anything. You can see how stable is the Mambo. Even though it did. See? And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down. So it's very, um, very stable. And even though with this here, you can still do flips. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. So um, now if I'm gonna go front flip, you guys can see that. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, it's, um, for 150, it's not, I think it's worth it, you know? And you can see here, and you can show it myself. And man, I don't even need this transmitter. But you do need a light to, um, I think, how the sensor works. Because right now, it's still, you know, I mean, look how stable it is. So, let me go ahead and put it over here. So, if you do turn off the light, let's see. If <laughs> I'm going to go and turn off the light, guys. Hold on, I'm sorry. Oh, see, you can see it drifting. <laughs> so, you can see it drifting. So, uh, it it's not bad. I mean, as long as you have enough light, because I think the bottom sensor, position sensor, has to, um, it needs the, uh, how you call this? It needs that vision to maintain its uh, hold. And then, um, look at that. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm going to put it right here, because I think it's going to, So I'm surprising with the weight with this thing. Even though with the weight, I'm still surprised with it. Um, because you have the camera on top, and it's probably gonna add more weight. But it actually, it maintains, so. And you guys can see here. And I think uh, even though with this uh, guard, it's not even having that problem. So very stable. So even though you spin this around, let me see if I can if I can spin it around. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, you can't do that with a drone. Simple. You can have it in your hand if you want, if you want to catch it. But I think right now it's, I'm messing with the position sensor. See? So whatever my hand goes, <laughs> that's where it's going. Because that camera is maintaining its uh, place. And even though you back up to it, to the wall, you're not gonna have an issue. Pretty interesting. And you can do another, uh, yeah. It's slow, um, still give me a little warning. Actually, I have this in, in the, um, for a while. So I had it like, you know, it doesn't overheat, so. What I, I just keep it steady. Now it's gonna go. It's gonna, so it doesn't let you wanna do flips now. And the 
just having this here. And we're really low battery right now, so you can see how low battery I have on. Not bad. Let's see if it's gonna land itself once you get like a low battery. First testing. Not using the the controllers right there. And let me see if it's just gonna fall or it's really low battery let's see if it's gonna land itself it'd be awesome if this camera do a time lapse So, you guys can see, <laughs> it actually landed on my controller. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, I think the reason why I did that, because apparently, um, apparently, you know, I was moving around and I think the sensor was with my shadow. See, you guys can see the shadow here. And I think that's what happened. You can see it like drifting a little bit, but hey, not even using a transmitter or anything or controller, just basically, you know, wanna um, land its own, wow. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I really do appreciate it.